All right, so on Friday, while we were shooting Channel Super Fun, um, there was a bit of a disaster, and all the computers needed to be recombobulated on their own loops instead of flushing. So we're going to do some diagnosis here. This is the whole room water cooling project from my detective. This is crazy. Um, I think one thing that we need to do is get that second pump in here because I'm having trouble bleeding all the systems. So, here's our big boy second pump. And uh, I have some tubing scraps. So we're just gonna hook this baby up. Um, okay, where's my thing? Well, we're going from this outlet to this inlet to the rest of the room. I gotta go, I gotta go hook up a system before we start this though, otherwise it's just gonna go nowhere. <laughs> so we're gonna put you back on the whole room loop. Then we're gonna go turn on the pumps for the whole room loop. Wow, your system runs toasty when it's just got a dual rad. Too many bubbles though. So first the first pump, because we don't want either of them to run dry. Boom. Then the second pump. All right, let's see if we're getting better flow rates with all that extra pressure. Actually, that does look quite a bit better. Ah, I'm watering the bathtub. Yeah, not bad pressure. Oh, it looks like we're actually getting more gunk out of your system. That's interesting. So let's go have a look. Maybe it's, uh, that's not, I did not expect that. We already flushed the systems. Power temps. They're okay, uh, not great. Well, right now your system has a five by quad radiator just for itself. So it makes sense that it's doing all right. That's weird. Turning off your pump made absolutely zero difference to the sound in this computer. What is making so much noise? Wait, what did I just unplug? Oh, wasn't your pump. What was it? I don't know. Let's just not worry too much about that. Okay. Oh no, there it goes. Dead silent now. Okay. So this one's purged. Hold on a second though. Oh, that's a problem. New, 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 bad, bad, bad. Oh, we ran dry, absolutely terrible. Worst thing ever. Oh boy. That was not, not what we were trying to do. Okay. That might explain why it was so quiet. Now, aside from needing to replace the pump, I also need to replace the power supply for the fans on the roof because we were so close to the 2 amp limit of the power supply we were using originally that the fans just don't start up unless I start half of them, and even then, sometimes not. But first... See the, these marks right at the tip of my finger? Those are growth. How about uh, down here? Oh, those might be growth, but I didn't see those. Probably bubbles, though. Uh, that means that block performance is definitely affected by the growth in our loop, even on the furthest system from the pumps. But since we haven't seen block performance affected negatively yet, um, what I'm hoping is we can at least run it until we move. And uh, once we've added some, some kind of a biocidal agent like iodine to the loop, um, we should hopefully kill that stuff and inhibit the rest of its growth. So, so we have to clean those blocks? The blocks will need to be disassembled for cleaning. What about the rads? Do they have to be replaced? Um, right now it looks like that would be our best bet, yes. Or we could just irresponsibly not do it and uh, put in a biocidal agent, put an inline filter in, and just kind of go, yep, good enough, and not clean anything. That is another option. Everything's fine out here. I wonder if the fans are still running. Cannot tell from here, but what I can tell from here is that I have the uh, I have the soldering gear that I need to make my new power supply. So I guess why don't we do that? So 
I have never used this soldering kit before. This is a new one. Oh, terrible, terrible news. I forgot my wire strippers. I guess I'll have to use my teeth. Or a knife. Probably teeth. It's a nice smartwatch you have there. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was recommended by a guy that I know. He sounds like a dick. <laughs> I think this is supposed to go in here, but... I'm gonna go see if I have wire strippers. I definitely don't have flux, though. I'm here, I found one in the, uh, in the closet. It's from one of the power supplies for one of these systems. So, it's all sort of part of the same inventory for this project. Okay. So that's on. Wait a minute, I not only have no flux, I, I have no solder. I, I do have to go to Home Depot. So my computer just started making, an, you know, a bit of an awful noise. Uh, it sounded like the screams of a thousand dying babies. And here it comes again. I don't know. You don't know what dying babies sound like. <laughs> Especially <laughs> not a thousand. <laughs> we need to get everyone's but Burkle's system off the whole room loop. You just put mine on the loop, and now you're putting it off. Again. Well, it's a diagnostic process. Uh, uh. Why not mine again? Because we want all the pressure going to your loop to force bubbles out of it. Because you're uh, you're at the very end, so you're, you you kind of got the bitch loop spot. All of this seems like an excellent idea. I'm trying to loosen bubbles. I'm not going to tip it. We just plan to. Probably okay, I'm going to tip it. If I get hit in the head with a hard drive, I'll be upset. Not as upset as the hard drive, but... Okay, I'll put it on the ground. You shouldn't drop hard drives like that. <laughs> Said the guy who tipped the system and dropped the hard drive before. Okay, well the bad news is that two pumps is still not enough to bleed all the systems at once but is definitely enough to properly bleed one system at once when before with only one pump it was like barely enough. Cool. Okay, so I've got everything I need here for soldering. I've got my soldering station. I've got my soldering iron. I've got my sponge. I've got my solder. I've got my flux pen. Um, Cause I couldn't find my other thing of flux. So I'll just use a pen, whatever. Uh, okay, right, and I have my sacrificial Molex connector that I'll be using to put onto the end of this, and then some electrical tape to go ahead and seal the whole thing up. Oh, and turns out I do have wire strippers here at the office, so I, I guess let's get started. So the first thing we'll need to do is cut this connector off. And boop, you're done. So let's find out if this works. I don't have much hope. Actually, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And... bippity boppity 14 volts. All right. 12. Okay. Aren't you worried that the rain's gonna get to that thing? There's no explanation? Quick go before he realizes that I'm back. <laughs> Okay, up we go. Oh, it's okay. That seems good. Oh, it's raining right now, actually. Okay. Uh, you may have to go up there now. I kind of have to pee. Oh, well, nobody's watching. Um, no, hold on. Oh, oh, what? Okay. We have one of these powered over over SATA. <clears throat> oh. In fact, there are three leads <clears throat> for the three splitters, which means we need to split this to two Molex and then split it again to... Oh, I could have just, see, I could have just soldered it to that entire harness, but instead I just left one connector. I thought that was all we needed. Oh, okay, I guess I could take it out of the ring. There. 
What are you looking for? Nothing. I hate you. Do we have any Molex Y splitters? Probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Why do you need a Molex Y splitter? No reason. Because I soldered the wrong connector to the end of. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <clears throat> so the proper solution would have definitely been to resolder this, especially because I did such a poor job of soldering it in the first place. But this is what we'll be doing. Molex to SATA to quad SATA. Okay. So we wire these up. Bippity, boppity, boop. No fans are spinning. Oh, jeez. It's all good. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's try one. Oh, they're Seda. So we have, oh. We only did up one of the grounds. It's the wrong one. Back down we go. Oh, I can't even, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll meet you back at the soldering iron. <coughs> if you could grab a SATA harness from the closet in front of Burkle, or behind him, or whatever, they're in a bag on the shelf right inside the door. We should just pretend none of that ever happened. <laughs> Done it on the first try. Yeah, right. Now, because we have SATA connectors on the uh, fan power splitters up there, we'll be using a SATA modular power supply harness as our sacrificial lamb today. And we will be attaching pretty much the entirety of it, <clears throat> giving us a total of four connectors. Because if we had just done one connector of completely the wrong type, that would have been silly. If you have any tips for soldering, don't be afraid to let us know in the comments. No trolling. Just kidding, don't do that. That's for 9 volts, not soldering irons. Don't touch that dial. Linus Tech Tips will be right back. Save on select Intel Core i7 processors and 730 series SSDs with instant rebates during Valentine's week, February 14th to 21st, 2015. Click now to learn more. Ah, oh, it's hot. Which makes sense. This could almost be its own entire episode. The comedy of errors that is Linus trying to create this adapter. Let's put, that is a long wire. It's about one Linus height in height. Boop. Ah, I still haven't gone pee. It definitely doesn't go away. Okay. Take that, suckers. Nope, nope. Come back out. What did I have this clip to? Must have been tubing. There we go. Okay. That's pretty much it. All fans except one spinning. Why is there one not spinning? What is going on here? What is this? What is this? What are... Okay. Next time on West Coast Hole Room. Okay, so I ordered a couple of filters, and hopefully these will <clears throat> filter whatever's going on in our system. Oh my god, it's moving. <laughs>